Awesome. So in the previous video, I went over setting up the dip analyzer trading strategy. If you aren't sure what that is, you can go and watch. I believe it's number five. So this is video number six. So once I restarted after, so I just refreshed the page. Sorry, I didn't restart. I just refreshed the page after I have inputted my password. Now I can go and paste my password in there that I've copied and hit log in and let's go and hit save. Cool. Okay. So now it took me back to the accounts page and this is where it says I have a Binance account that I can possibly set up. Um, if I don't have Binance and I want to set something up, um, something else up, I can go and look through this entire list of all the other various options that they support. And some of them say Octobot untested. Some say tested with simulated trading. I wanted to go with something that is fully tested, i.e. Binance. So Binance also has a very low entry level, um, or should I say a very low trading cost. So that is a, a big benefit. Uh, that I believe it's 0.1% that you pay when you do a trade on Binance. So something very important to remember, especially if the bot is going to be doing a lot of trading, you need to remember to, um, well, to have a very cheap um, trading cost. Uh, or I think they call it a maker and a taker. Um, so... It says, now we've got three bits of information, an API key and an API secret. You can basically think of the key as the API username and the secret as the password. Sometimes it will have a password as well. So the secret is generated once off. Once it's generated, you can't see your secret again. That is for security purposes. So that someone can't come along and then access your API, which is basically just the connection between your bot and your trading account. So I've gone to Binance.com and I want to go and log in. If you don't already have an account, you can just go and set one up. Um, and you'll just need to go through those various pr uh, processes. I'm just going to pause the video and log in here so I don't take up too much of your time. So after I typed in my details, it will take me to this page and it says email verification code. So I've been sitting waiting for my verification code, but I actually need to click, click on click to get the code. So once I've clicked that, cool, they're going to send me a code to my email now. And part of the setup process, there will also be a Google verification or a Google two-factor authentication. So the code. Oh, and then the code from my Google two-factor authentication app. These are all one-time pins, so I don't mind showing them up on my screen here. There we go. I thought for educational purposes, we may as well just show you the login process. Um, sometimes it does take me a second to get used to. Cool, okay. So now that I have logged in, I can go to my profile on the far right hand side and I'm going to go down to API management. And now at the top here, you can see I've already got an active API, um, but it's never going to show me what that key is. So I can go and say create an API, but I want to give it a name first. So this is Fancy Face. Create API. And now it says, what is my code? So I need to do that email verification code again. So that time limit there, that 60 seconds, that isn't actually a